Can, do you remember the race scandal with Rachel Dozel, the woman who pretended to be black, even though she was born from white parents? Remember that? It was all over the internet. Well, she was recently fired from a job as a teacher after they discovered her explicit OnlyFans account. Now, Rachel, who goes by the name Inkache Diallo, now says it's been hard to find work since the scandal is out. Teachers are underpaid. But should OnlyFans creators who post explicit content be allowed to teach children? Maddie, what do you think? Well, let's let's just put it like this. Now she's really having the Black experience, honey. She's being ostracized for being Black. <laughs> So yeah. she get the taste of it since she wanted to be Black so bad. Now, yes, I do think that in the schools, I think that, yes, we know teachers are, are underpaid, right? But there are other things that you can do on OnlyFans. You can you can sell your toes. You got pretty feet. You can, you know, you can find other ways to make OnlyFans really work for you. Um, she should just quit teaching altogether and just make her million on OnlyFans. Do you know how many men love inter inter uh the mix and intermixed women? You know how much money I may be an intermixed? And she's not even mixed. She's just a white woman that says she's black and we bought it. Right. Uh -huh. No, we didn't buy it, but right. She was working with the NAACP, right? Wasn't she? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The same NAACP that told Whitney Houston she wasn't black. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Al, what do you think about this? Being an educator, what do you think? You know, I actually think it's it's okay. I think this is a question of your First Amendment versus your professional responsibilities. Although this may, people can argue that this is, you know, a violation of her First Amendment, you can't argue that it is a violation of her personal responsibilities. You hold a certain level of respect and honor and integrity as a professional teacher. And you being on OnlyFans showing your, your rooted to your tutor just kind of deflates that and it, it corrects that so I totally get it and and to be honest a lot of school districts are starting to follow suit because in the last two years over 100 teachers have been terminated because of their only fans page so I do feel this though I feel like if we paid our teachers what they were worth, they would not have to go out and pander on OnlyFans. And I feel like this also, like T.S. Madison said, maybe you should focus your attention on something that's a little bit more lucrative, which is OnlyFans, than slaving it out in the classroom because you know that it's minimal pay. But then again, I thought about it. A lot of people use teaching for their other benefits like health insurance, 401k, you know, those types of things are things that you can't get if you just are only on OnlyFans. But if you're going to try it, be prepared to lose your job if you are a teacher in the United States. Paige said she knew, Paige said she knew teachers were under... Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Claudia. I don't mean to do that. I want to know who's finding the, the teachers on there. Is it the students? Or is it other teachers? Uh, most of the time, it's like, it's most of the times, it's not the students, honestly. Most of the time, it's somebody, you know, just being a whistleblower and, and wanting the teacher to get in trouble or leaking it to a parent of a student or leaking it that way. Most of the time, it's not. It's clearly because if the school board had done their background check and had Googled them and, and did OnlyFans and Googled them, it would have been exposed anyway, right, if they used their real name. So I think it's a third party. I I think it's a whistleblower of some sorts. Oh.